The Siai Marquette AS-211 has long been a vital element of the Philippine Air Force's aviation program, serving not just as a training aircraft but also in light attack and tactical support roles. In 2026, this Italian-designed jet has re-emerged in the spotlight with significant upgrades, renewed operational importance, and its place in the growing modernization of the Philippine military. Built on decades of reliability and adaptability, the AS-211 continues to demonstrate why it remains a formidable asset in the ever-evolving landscape of regional air power. Originally derived from the Italian S.211 trainer jet, the AS-211 was developed to meet the requirements of nations needing a cost-effective yet capable aircraft that could perform both training and combat tasks. The Philippines acquired these jets in the 1990s and has since used them primarily for advanced pilot training and limited combat roles. In recent years, especially by 2026, modernization efforts have brought the AS-211 into a new era with upgraded avionics, improved weapon systems, and extended mission profiles. The result is a jet that now plays a more central role in the Philippine Air Force's aerial capabilities, fitting neatly between full-fledged fighter jets and lighter utility aircraft. One of the most important developments for the AS-211 program in 2026 is the integration of modern mission systems. The Philippine Air Force, in partnership with local aerospace industry players, embarked on a comprehensive upgrade that includes digital cockpit displays, head-up displays, new communication and navigation equipment, and targeting systems compatible with precision-guided munitions. These upgrades bring the AS-211 in line with newer jet standards, allowing it to train pilots for modern combat scenarios and also provide real-time support in operations involving surveillance, reconnaissance, and ground attack. What makes the AS-211 especially relevant in 2026 is the increasing need for flexible air platforms in Southeast Asia. With regional tensions escalating and non-traditional threats such as piracy, smuggling, and insurgency growing in complexity, the Philippine Air Force has turned to platforms like the AS-211 that offer cost-effective solutions without compromising mission capability. Its versatility allows it to switch between pilot instruction and light strike missions with minimal reconfiguration giving commanders options in both peacetime operations and combat situations. Training remains one of the core functions of the AS-211 fleet. The aircraft is used to prepare pilots transitioning from basic flight training into more advanced fighter platforms such as the FA-50PH Golden Eagle or potentially future 4.5 generation or 5th generation jets that the Philippines may procure. The AS-211's handling characteristics, flight controls, and performance provide an ideal stepping stone for these pilots. With the addition of simulated radar systems and weapon delivery training modules, students can now experience more realistic combat scenarios before advancing to higher performance aircraft. In terms of armament, the 2026 AS-211s are now capable of carrying an expanded array of light weaponry, including 7.62mm and 12.7mm gun pods, unguided and laser-guided rockets, and small precision-guided bombs. This makes them valuable for close air support missions where larger aircraft would be overkill or too expensive to deploy. In areas such as Mindanao or remote islands in the West Philippine Sea, these jets can offer quick response support to ground units or maritime patrols. They can also operate from shorter airfields, increasing their flexibility and allowing deployment to more regions across the archipelago. Another critical role being expanded in 2026 is the AS-211's capability in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, ISR, missions. 
by integrating modern electro-optical targeting systems and high-resolution cameras, these jets can now fly ISR missions over contested zones or areas of interest. Their endurance and range allow for several hours of loiter time, making them ideal for monitoring suspicious maritime activity, insurgent movements, or illegal logging and mining operations. In this way, the AS-211 becomes not just a weapon or a trainer but an eye in the sky for the armed forces of the Philippines. One of the most commendable aspects of the AS-211 modernization is how it reflects the Philippines' growing self-reliance in defense production and maintenance. The upgrades are largely being carried out by Filipino technicians and aerospace engineers particularly through the efforts of the Philippine Aerospace Development Corporation, PADC, and Air Force Logistics Command. This localized maintenance capability ensures sustainability, cost-effectiveness, and a boost in national aerospace competency, reducing dependency on foreign contractors for long-term fleet support. On the global stage the Philippine AS-211 program is gaining attention as a case study in how legacy aircraft can be modernized to meet contemporary requirements. Other nations operating similar aircraft are looking at how the Philippines has transformed the AS-211 into a dual-role platform. From military expos to regional defense dialogues, the Philippine example is proving that with smart investment and focused upgrades, even decades-old airframes can continue to serve effectively and affordably in modern environments. The pilot community within the Philippine Air Force continues to express confidence and appreciation for the aircraft. Many of the country's seasoned pilots started their journey in the AS-211, and they often describe it as both forgiving and responsive view a plane that teaches discipline but rewards skill. Its upgraded avionics and mission systems in 2026 have further strengthened its reputation among current pilot trainees. Flight instructors now have tools to simulate combat engagements more effectively, and trainees are better prepared for future missions and jet transitions. Logistically, the aircraft is also well suited to the operational realities of the Philippines. Given its relatively simple maintenance requirements, low fuel consumption, and operational versatility, it remains ideal for a country composed of over 7,000 islands. Whether flying out of the central plains of Luzon, the rugged mountains of Mindanao, or the remote outposts in Palawan, the AS-211 can adapt and respond without the complex ground support required by more advanced fighter jets. Looking to the future, discussions are already underway about developing a next-generation trainer and light attack jet to eventually replace the AS-211, but until then, it remains a key component of the Philippine Air Force's capabilities. There are also proposals for further upgrades, including data link systems, night vision compatibility, and compatibility with more advanced munitions. These enhancements would further extend the jet's service life and broaden its tactical utility. The AS-211's success in the Philippines is not just about the aircraft itself but about how it fits into a broader strategy of smart defense spending, operational flexibility, and national capability development. It is a shining example of how older platforms can be revitalized through innovation, local expertise, and strategic partnerships. In a world where high tech often comes with high cost, the AS-211 proves that smart upgrades can yield impressive results. In 2026, as the Philippines continues to invest in its air defense and training capabilities, the AS-211 stands as a symbol of transformation. From humble beginnings as a trainer jet to a multi-role platform with real combat value, it embodies the resilience and ingenuity of the armed forces of the Philippines. Whether soaring over the South China Sea or training the next generation of fighter pilots, the AS-211 remains a trusted workhorse sharp, reliable, 
and ready for whatever challenge the skies may hold. As the region continues to witness power shifts and increasing complexity in air defense requirements, the Philippines' strategic decision to keep the AS-211 operational and modernized underscores a vital truth, air power doesn't always have to be about the most expensive or the newest, but about what fits the mission and gets the job done effectively. In that sense, the AS-211 continues to fly not just as a machine, but as a story of capability, adaptability, and national pride.